Hey, it's Duke here with Duke's RV. And today we're going to take a look at this Bullet Crossfire, the 1850 RB. RB is in rear bath. This one packs a lot of value into a very comfortable package. Uh, it's got a power tongue jack. It's got power stabilizers on all four corners. So you don't have to do any hand cranking at the campground. And while we're back here, let's take a look at this angle. You can see it's got that Weingart Air 360 for digital TV and Wi-Fi. And then over on the right, you can see the solar panel. It's got a 200 watt solar panel. And uh, it also comes with a solar charge controller, an MPPT, that blue box on the other end of this pass-through uh, storage. You can see the aluminum double welded construction in there. So uh, let's take a look at the specs real quick on this one and get the uh, weight. The unloaded vehicle weight on this one is 4,420 4, pounds. So there's no battery in this one right now. We do have the solar. So let's see if it, even on this overcast weather, maybe we'll get some lights. We'll be able to see if that is enough to run the lights with no battery. There's two 20 pound propane tanks. This one does have a fridge that runs on 12 volt or propane. So you have two different ways of keeping your fridge going. Uh, oh, there's a couple of stereo speakers and a big awning right there. It does have a walkable roof. So here is the uh, the leveling power leveling jacks. That one is partially deployed right now. It's got a camera prep in the back. Has a roof. The, it kind of comes over the edge a little bit. You see that rain gutter runs the length of the coach. The water's not just dripping down the side of your trailer. All right, let's go ahead and go inside and look. The lights are on. We're running on solar power. So that's, that's that Solar Flex 200 package. So this one, just taking a look at the floor plan, you have a bed, obviously that's a bed, and, but there's not a wall. And so what that does is it gives you, now this table moves around, you, you can take that out altogether and fold it up, you may wanna do that. Uh, but it gives you a lot of room as far as if you're sitting here in this Thomas Paine sofa that's very comfortable. There's not a wall right here. You don't feel like you're in a little box. It's opened up a little bit and it just gives you a little bit more air in here. You have the TV location up there and you have uh, some counter space there. And you have some pantry space there and there, but there's more pantry space over there. We'll take a look at it. So uh, yeah, this table, it's like kind of like an ironing board size table. It will fold up. It's got these folding legs. So, uh, you know, I might even just leave that at home in my garage and probably bring a TV tray because this takes up a lot more room. I think you accomplish the same thing with a couple of TV trays. Just my personal opinion. Everybody's different. Uh, so it's got the fridge here. This fridge runs on propane or electric. So we, if we're not plugged in, we're out doing some dry camping day at the beach or the lake or wherever. Just hanging out at the park uh, with your propane and your solar. You'll keep the lights going. You'll have a stove. Uh, you'll have a refrigerator because it runs on both uh, and you have a bathroom. You've got everything you need. Only thing is if you need an air conditioner, you'd have to bring a generator if you're boondocking but uh, not in the microwave. But you can get by that because you'll have this uh, stove. So if you don't have, uh, you might have to heat up something the old-fashioned way. It's, it's kind of fun. So we'll just take a look at it from this angle over here. And uh, it does have a stainless steel sink. And here's some pantry space over here on the left side of the fridge. So it, it's pretty deep. I might could put a shelf in there. So this is kind of dual functional. If you're out on the road and you need to hang up some clothes, you could put a, a curtain rod in there that's very deep. I mean, a, a closet rod. And you could hang clothes up there too. So depending on what one of those could be for some jackets or something. And you do have some space here. So you've got uh, some space there. And let's take a look under the sink. Oh, actually, there's some usable space there. Sometimes under the sink is dominated by the plumbing, but they did a fairly good job of getting that plumbing out of the way to make it some usable space. So you can carry a lot of stuff down there, and you will. Uh, that's what's going to happen when you're loading up. You're going to bring a lot of stuff. You have these hidden residential hinges so uh getting keystone quality and you're getting a great floor plan in this rv the rear bath so it's very livable and comfortable in here and uh there's a little table right there but here is the 
rear bath it's got a corner shower and it's got the uh, medicine cabinet toilet doesn't have a ton of hip and leg room but uh, I mean it's functional I uh, it, it's okay I'm not gonna say it's great but uh, it, overall for me it'd be it wouldn't be any problem at all I, I would just uh, it's not a big huge thing to me that I that uh, has to have a lot of room around it it's functional it works and uh, we'll do the job there's always pros and cons in every floor plan to find the space for everything that everybody wants but my name is Duke I'm your video host I appreciate you tagging along here is my contact information right here I'm just going to take another peek outside so you notice just again these lights are running this is how the solar the beauty of the solar there's not even a battery in this one right now it's running strictly on this overcast day uh, from this 200 watt solar panel in this highly efficient MPPT solar charge control I'll show it to you on the other side most most travel trailers they'll tell you they have solar they'll have a plug like this this has this this just provides a trickle charge to the battery or batteries once you put them in again this one's running purely on solar right now so that trickle charge is fine but it's not near as efficient and the other thing about this if you use this you've got to use a suitcase solar that's got a solar charge controller built into it which would be like a Zamp solar suitcase. They cost a few hundred dollars. I don't know the exact prices. I've got one. They work great. Uh, that's the 30, uh, I mean the 15 watt uh, MPPT solar charge controller. I don't want to get it wrong on any of the electronic stuff. It's, a, it's MPPT that's very efficient. That's the bottom line. This will capture more electricity. It's wired straight into your, into your house battery, into the rig. So you're running these lights. And this would also be charging the battery too if there was a battery uh, so th this one the good thing is it it keeps those batteries charged up if you put lithium batteries or uh, AGM batteries in there it'd be a good investment if you're gonna be doing some off-the-grid type stuff or dry camping if it's cold uh, and you like to do some cold weather camping you've got a heater you got a furnace with the propane no problem you got hot water hot water heater so you'll be good just put some water in the tank have a good time just fun to go anywhere and do anything this one's well insulated you can take it out in cold weather it's got the block foam insulation you can see that for some reason that one is down a little bit uh, that's a uh, there's your 30 amp connection right there this size rig is that's all it needs to be oh over on this side it's worth walking around we get to see this uh, outdoor hot and cold shower right there so this is kind of a perfect little nook if you were gonna at a campground you want to take a shower and you need privacy you got this area here you can put up a shower tent if you want to take a shower outside that's your black tank flush always remember when you're doing the black tank flush you better have the lever open for that black tank or you'll be flushing into the RV and you don't want to do that so don't ever learn that there are people that have done that I've never done that but if I know somebody that has and it's no good all right so thanks for tagging along taking a look at this bullet 1850 RB this could work for you if you're uh, out on the road working and living uh, working on a pipeline doing inspections or wh whatever it is you're doing if you need a rig to take around instead of uh, paying motel and hotel bills and staying at these places uh, or if you just want to do some recreational camping this is a perfect couples coach right here it's ideal you've got the bathroom back there in the corner plenty of room to sit there uh, what I'd probably do if this was me and this rig right here is I would leave this at home, this table, and uh, not even use up the space uh, to carry it. I'd bring a couple of TV trays. Then I'd probably make a couple little storage compartments that worked as footrests also. That way uh, you can use this as a recliner. Because the beautiful thing about this bed that I didn't mention earlier, I mean this sofa, is that it makes into a bed. So this is a convertible sofa. So if you have an occasional friend or guest that's going to travel with you, this will check that box. But it, in the meantime, it's not uh, 
it's very comfortable it just doesn't have the recliner so i'd probably put a uh like i said a little a couple of little carpeted type boxes or something with uh, rubber things on them that open up so it doubles the storage and a footrest have your tv have your feet up right here clicking the channels talking on the phone you'll be doing all right hey thanks again for viewing my video i hope you're doing well today if you have any questions just send me a text i will be happy to help you thank you very much